Okay, good day everyone. For today's vlog, I am tasked to report all about gymnastics in ancient Greece period. So, before I will go further with my report, let me define first what is gymnastics. So, gymnastics is a sport that includes physical exercises requiring balance, strength, flexibility, agility, coordination, and endurance so gymnastics derived from a greek word meaning to exercise naked which apply in ancient greece to all exercises practiced in the gymnasium so it is the place where the male athletes did indeed exercise and cloth so greek gymnastic program was first introduced in early greek civilization to create body development through a series of activities that includes running, jumping, swimming, throwing, wrestling, and weightlifting. So, the Greek interest in gymnastics initially dates back to 776 BC. So, at this time, physical fitness was a highly valued attribute in ancient Greece for both men and women. So also in this time, gymnastics is made up of a certain and specific exercises that develop and display physical agility and coordination. Next, the sport of the ancient Greek gymnastics involves exercises of the following. First is horizontal bar, pulls, ropes, foot races, ladders, dumbbells, wrestling, Throwing of javelin and discuss. So these exercises are performed by the men. So generally, the Greek gymnastics were males of age of 18 or older. So they are the ones who were dedicated to becoming more physically fit and practically live in the places of the training. So the men work hard and push themselves to achieve both physical and mental superiority to attribute and emphasize a highly respected in their communities. So therefore, performance of this sport was a sacred dedication to the Greek god, Zeus, to show their gratitude and faithfulness. So they would hold festival to do, to which they would perform their activities. So, in ancient Greece period, there are three distinct programs of gymnastic exercises were developed. So, first is gymnastic for the maintenance of good physical condition. So, at this part, gymnastic exercises is used for good physical condition. Like, for example, men or the performers are physically fit, on track, and away from any diseases or illnesses. The next is gymnastic for the military training so gymnastic exercises is designed to give strength for military combat so this is also used extensively by the roman after the ancient greece the next is gymnastics as part of the conditioning regimen for athletes so at this part so gymnastic exercises is used as their training as a way of training for them to be ready for such performances or such sports performances. So, such programs include gymnastics as considered to be the formal education of children, where the Greek believed that the unity of the mind and body could only be realized through participation in physical exercises. So, in ancient Greece period, gymnasium houses three type of teachers. So, these teachers are responsible for a separate pay set to ensure full comprehension of the sport. So, these teachers are responsible sa pagpasabot sa mga men sa una or mga performer kung unsa gid ang gymnastic exercises or ang gymnastic sport. So, first teacher is the grammatistist, so the one who taught reading, writing, and other scholarly pursuit. The next is the guitaristis, so the one who taught music. The next is the pedotribis, so the one who, uh, who were physical teachers. So, pedotribis in early Greek is an early Greek teacher of physical fitness, where they are the first to design 
systems of physical activity for both athletes and for general citizenry. So next, let's go down to the gymnastic philosophy in ancient Greece period. So the Greek philosophy portrayed the human body as a temple housing, the mind and the soul, and the practice of gymnastic contributed to the health and punctuality of the temple. So in time, structured gymnastic and calisthenic exercises were abandoned in favor of the game sport. So the Greek, the Greek gymnastics focus on finding symmetry between the mind and the body by fearing physical exercises with intellectual activity. So when we say intellectual activity, it is the love of wisdom. It is based on reason and reality. So the Greek philosophers such as Plato, Aristotle, and Socrates found this form of exercises beneficial to both mind and body. So the human body was so sacred to this philosopher that they treated their own body as a sacred temple. So to them, sport should focus not only in physical development but also in mental training to bring out into being smarter and stronger people so greek gymnastic focuses on the unity of the mind and body with physical exercises or with gymnastic exercises so that would be all i hope you learned something with my report